بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم IELTS reading module the strategies there, there will be questions like matching short answer true false I'm not given yes no not given labeling a diagram completing sentences choosing head headings choosing answers from a list classifying information completing notes and summarize complete tables and flowcharts and multiple choice time is not your friend in the exam so you will have to practice well for that there is only one hour three passages with 40 questions it's coming from the easiest to the uh, hardest so the list time for the first passage and more time in the last ones make the passage one 18 minutes skim for the passage for one minute scan for uh, answers for one minute in every question and passage two 20 total time one minute to skim the passage and one minute for each question third passage 22 minutes one minute to, sk to uh, skim and one minute for each question so 18 20 22 18 minutes 22 20 and 22 for each first and second and third passages you will have to work hard and remember to complete the answer sheet as you work because there is no time to transfer your answer at the end so keep the timer on 18 minutes 20 minutes 22 minutes first strategy is for matching match the definition or date in the list a with the related term in list b this is the question match the definition or date in the list a with the related term in list b the strategy first you will have to scan the reading passage looking for words dates or phrases in list a then read the sentence where this word or date is found and when you found it uh, is a, you will ask yourself is related term uh, or paraphrase uh, in, uh, in list B or not if it is not then read the sentence that comes before or after so first you will scan you will see the words and dates and, and, and phrases in list A and you will scan the reading passage for this for this word or date or, or, or phrases then you will when you find the word you will read the sentence that you found the word in and then if you see the related uh, term or uh, or paraphrase in, in the list B then you choose it and if you don't see it you will uh, read uh, the sentence before or after so that you will scan read the sentence uh -huh, I found it okay I didn't found it so I will read the sentence before and after scan read the sentence read the sentence before and after there is a tip here the word in list A may be italics or capitalized it could be in italics or could be capitalized the matching word or phrase may be a, a paraphrase be sure to understand the context and not just only the to match the identical words so not always it's the same word word no it could be um, uh, the paraphrase and so uh, uh, it could be uh, be sure that to understand the context and not just only to match the identical words also sometimes you may see uh, a word from uh, list B more than uh, once you may use it more than once so remember in matching you will match the, the, the question you will match each definition or date in list A with the related term in list B first scan then read the sentence if you for, find the word it's okay if you don't find it then read the sentence before and after and then sometimes there is a tip that it could be italics or capitalized and the matching word or uh, phrase may be a paraphrase so be sure that you understand the context not just match the identical words and also 
keep in mind that you could be use the uh, uh, word in the list B or uh, more than once. This is a quick example. Read the paragraph, match each item in list A with an item with list with list B. We will see that we will look directly to the list, list A and list B. First, we will see the uh, words. We will uh, see mint, carrot, and rose. Mint. Then first, mint. I'll scan for the word mint. I will just scan, scan until I see the mint word. Okay. Then I will read the sentence. And I will see, aha, I found it, so I will see if it is anything like this, four-sided shape. So there is square items. As we said before, it could be, look for the context, not only the same word. So, scan, then read the sentence, and see if it is where it is in the list B locate it and then write it also carrot we scan we found the carrot we will read cluster aha uh -huh, we found the full word and we see here cluster so it's the rose rose we scan we read the sentence so we don't find it we don't find anything from here So we see this finally, five petals, five petals. So it could be in the next or following sentence, not the same sentence. So you check for before and after sentences if you don't find it in the same sentence of the word. So first scan, read the sentence. If you don't find it, read before and after and take care that it could be in the context of the uh, not only the same word. So now in the second type of uh, questions, short answer. There will be a question. Uh, answer the question below. Write no more than three words in each answer. Write your answers in boxes one, two, three on your answer sheet. So the answer the questions below, no more than three words and write the answers one to three in your answer sheet. The strategy, scan the passage looking for keywords found in the question and read the answer to who, what, when, where, or how long. So there is two steps now. If we find the WH word, like who, what, when, where, or how long, you will scan the passage first for the keywords in the question and then you will answer these questions which is the WH word the who, the what, the when, the where, the how long word you will answer it there is a tip here do not write more than the suggested number of words if it is said no more than three words so it is three words or less don't write four words you will be penalized the WH word is uh, at the beginning of a question tell you, tells you what type of specific detail to look for. So if you if you see the this word, it's easy because you will see uh, if you find it, uh, you will listen to a name. If you feel if you see example who, you will listen to a name or occupation. You will search for a person. So, if you find who, what, when, where, why, which, how many, how long, then for answering you should answer, understand who you are looking for a person, what you are looking for place, object, emotion, when you are looking for time, where you are looking for location, why you are looking for a reason, which you are looking for place, person, object, how many you are looking for quantity how long you are looking for time or distance. So when you find this word, the WH word, who, what, when, where, why, which, how many, how long, you will, search, you will search for the answer. Who, you are searching for a person, what, 
you're searching for place object emotion when time where location why reason which place person and object how many quantity and how long distance or time the strategy here is to scan for the keyword in the question first and then you will uh, answer the question of the wh word as we said you are, what are you looking for this is an example we will look directly to the questions how long is the marathon race now so you will look for first the keywords the keywords here is the marathon race when we read we scan for the marathon race and we at the same time we see the how long how long this means that we are searching for a time or distance how long so we are searching here for a distance how long is the marathon rate now marathon rate now when we scan we find that is finally established 26.2 miles so the it is uh, the answer is 26.2 miles and not more than three words so first we scanned for the marathon and then we looked for the answer to how long we are looking for a distance scanned marathon race now so finally established and the answer for how long is a distance how many miles the second what two places did this man this is a name Fidelipus run between so I'm looking for first we scan for the uh, keywords here we can see the keyword this name of the person we scan until we find it this is the name then we answer the question what what so what two places so we're looking for a place the two places here is marathon to Athens marathon to Athens we answered the, the what question here where were the Olympics in 1908 uh, eight? so the keywords Olympics in 1908 so we find this keyword in the uh, passage 198 Olympics in the 198 where where so we we are looking for a place London Olympics London so the answer is London so we scan for the keyword and at the same time we answer the question true false and not given yes no and not given these two questions are very similar to each other but the true and false questions is concerned with facts and the yes or no questions is concerned with author's opinion or attitude so the they are very similar but true or false is a fact true or false fact yes or no opinion true or false fact yes or no opinion the strategy scan the passages for words that match the keywords in the statement the statement may be a paraphrase similar to the statement in the passage if there is no similar statement in the passage then the answer is not given so now what we will do we will scan for a word or the or a paraphrase we will scan first in the passage for a word or paraphrase from the question and then if we found if you find a similar um, statement then it is true if we don't find a similar statement then it is not given if it is the opposite then it is false or uh, no okay so now the first step is to scan if we don't find the statement then it is not given tip here there's a tip pay attention to the adjective and adverbs modifiers or limiters the modifier 
uh, in a question, maybe the opposite in the modifier in the passage. So take care. Now the check for the this limit limiters. If you find it, then be sure that it's in the, the same or the opposite in the passage. So first we will scan for a word or a paraphrase and then in the passage and then if we find it we will see true, false or not given. If the statement is not present in the passage, so it is not given. And take care of the uh, limiters or modifiers. Now the directions, you will be asked like this, do the following statements agree with the information given to the passage in boxes one to four on your answer sheet, write true, false and not given. True if the statement agrees with the information in the passage, false if the statement contradicts with the information in the passage, not given if the statement is, if there is no information about this in the passage. Yes or no, or not given. Directions. Do the following statements agree with the views of the writer in the passage? In boxes one to four in your answer sheet, write. Yes, if the statement agrees with the views of the writer. No, if the statement contradicts with the views of the writer. And not given if it is impossible to say what the writer thinks about it. So the difference between true and false, or yes or no, is that true or false is a fact and yes or no is an opinion of the writer. Yes or no is a little bit tricky and not could not be direct. These are examples. First example of the true and false not given. We see directly the questions now. Several of the volcanoes in Hawaiian Islands are still active. So first we will uh, scan for the words in the question or, or paraphrase. We scan for the still active Hawaiian Islands. So we see the Hawaiian Islands, but we don't, we don't find anything that is written that is still active. So the information is not here, so it is not given. The answer is not given. The second sentence, there are total of eight islands in the Hawaiian chain. The Hawaiian island chain. So we look for keywords, Hawaiian chain. We find it here. We scan, we see the chain here, it consists of eight major islands and there is smaller islands. So here this, take care of the limitation, or li li limiters total here he says total here he says only major eight major and there is smaller islands so it is false captain cook named the islands after his financial baker so we will see the keywords captain cook we scan for captain cook captain cook we find it here and we see the financial baking Named island on him, so it is true. Not given, false, and true. The second passage yes, no, or not given. This is an opinion. So we see directly the questions. The reported number of traffic accident death caused by cell phone is much lower than the actual number. So we can for the people killed so this is the, the uh, reported number this is only the reported information we scan is much lower than the actual so this is only the reported in the only in only reported information so it is yes it is generally assumed, this is very tricky here, it is generally assumed that drivers under 20 are more often involved in cell phone related traffic accidents than older drivers. So we scan for under 20 and for the keywords, we see here 
20 of age then we read that statistics show that your 30 year old is the highest number of related traffic deaths rather than the under 20 as it would be expected as it would be expected generally assumed so it is actually yes yes generally assumed or would be expected that under 20 driver under 20 often involved in cell phone traffic accidents the third laws regarding using a cell phone while driving is too strict we scan for this for the laws we don't find it in the passage so it is not given so remember that true or false is a fact and that is yes or no is an opinion another type of questions is labeling a diagram directions label the diagram below choose no more than two words from the reading passage for each answer write the answers in boxes one to three in your answer sheet so the strategy is to uh, scan for the test for uh, the text for keywords scan the text for the keywords that indicates location like next to above across edge center beneath and look for words that indicate geometric pattern like square rectangle bisect you don't have to write a and and that so you scan first the text for keywords that indicate the location like next above across edge center beneath and you look for words that indicate the, the geometric patterns like square rectangle bisect and don't you don't have to write a or b or a or the or and uh, tip labeling the uh, diagram question test you uh, it uh, it um, tests your ability to translate words into pictures when you read turn words into picture uh, in your head and then make a simple drawing in the paper before you answer the question so first we will scan the test for uh, words like uh, that indicate location and then we will also uh, look for words that, uh, that have a geometric pattern examples here like this paragraph First, we will uh, scan the picture, uh, scan the text for words that indicate location. So we, fi we find some words like around in the center, in the center, all over, at one end, these things that have a, uh, indicate the location. And then we look for other uh, geometric, geometric patterns like here there is large decoration then here we uh, we see the three diagrams and we read I scanned the, the passage there is three types the medallion layout and the one-sided layout and the all-over layout three types of layouts of the carpets one of them the medallion layout we will imagine the picture there is large decoration in the center of the carpet and there's small smaller motif is around it so there is something large inside and there is smaller around it and the whole is enclosed in a decorative border so this is the actually the description large decoration in the center and there is smaller around it and there is surrounded by uh, this dec decorated border the one-sided lay uh, layout you can see that the most pr um, prominence design element weighted toward one side of the carpet rather than being placed in the center so there is one side of the carpet and the, that is more than the center you can see this here only one side is more than the other so it's very obvious that there is the 
one sided the third is all over the all over layout we can see the pattern distributed all over the surface of the carpet so this is the all over layout paragraph two this is the diagram and here's the description of the earth when you read and put the uh, also we can you can put the location and the uh, also the like the outer layer beneath beneath it the outer layer and the most interior this locate for the locations the geometric here they give numbers sometimes and here is the outer is the thinnest these things we can look at and then we read that there is the crust which is the outer layer and the thinnest and there is the mantle which is beneath the crust and there is the earth interior which in the core there is outer core and inner core the outer core is thick and the inner core is like this so this is the crust the mental the outer core and the inner core other type of uh, question is completing sentences completing sentences the question uh, the directions complete the sentences and choose one word only from the passage for each answer so what's the strategy try to complete the sentence first then return to the passage to check your answer skim the passage looking for synonyms or um, paraphrases of the word for, uh, from the sentence the word that completes the sentence will be this, the same word in the passage and the grammatical form will be the same. So first you will try to complete the sentence. You see directly the question and you try to complete the sentence first and then you skim the passage for uh, synon uh, synonyms and uh, paraphrases of the words and uh, then you try to make it the same grammatically it should be the same grammatic it matches grammatically so this is what will we do paragraph one read the paragraph and fill each uh, blank with the one word only from the paragraph insomnia is a sleep disorder that lasts for a short period of time we will see the keywords here insomnia sleep disorder short period of time and then we remark it insomnia sleep disorder here uh, we see few days or weeks few days or weeks so this is a short period of time so the answer is acute insomnia Stress is one situation that can lead to chronic insomnia. What type of stress is a situation or what is stress is one situation that leads to chronic insomnia. So I will see the keywords stress situation lead to chronic insomnia. Chronic insomnia. We find here chronic insomnia. Lost month or Symptom of other no, it's constant stress. So chronic insomnia, here we can find it. Something that can lead to chronic insomnia is stress. What type of stress? Constant stress. So it is constant stress. Secondary insomnia is a sign that the patient has some type of problem. 
secondary insomnia we see for we search for the secondary insomnia and is a symptom of other health condition so it is sign or symptom again a type of health condition health problem the other paragraph we see the here the uh, blank parts and we can read the question unlike most of uh, other uh, moths the buck moth is active in so we see unlike buck moth active in and we see we, we see we skim for moth active in the night so the answer is night resting butterfly ho hold there vertically we scan for the keywords and we find the butterflies wrists resting butterflies hold, hold in a vertical position so this is vertically hold what you can see they hold their wings Around 90% of Leptopetra are, so we see the words 90% Leptopetra are, we read moths make 90%, so they are moths. Paragraph 3, here also we can see. You should get at least minutes to moderate exercise daily so at least minutes moderate exercise daily so we search we scan for the keywords at least minimum moderate exercise daily so the answer is 30 minutes walking example of exercise we scan for walking example such as walking is an example of exercise so walking is for example weight weight bearing exercises such as walking so the answer is weight bearing exercise. Endorphins, the keywords endorphins are associated with improved. We search for endorphins, endorphins associated with improve better mood. So the answer is mood for the same meaning. This is what we do. Here the tip is uh, the correct heading will be probably uh, the first or second se sentence so it will be uh, a paraphrase of the first or second sentence in the paragraph uh, also choose the heading uh, or, or cross the heading as you use them to be easier for you when you finish choosing the heading cross them so that you know that you will not use this heading again so what we do in choosing headings first we will scan the topic sentence for we skim the, the paragraph for the topic sentence, which is the one of the main idea of the paragraph. And then we will scan the headings for the same meaning. Usually, the uh, uh, topic sentence, usually not all the time, is the first or second sentence. And uh, also, remember to cross the headings while you cho after you choose them. Here, his, here is an example. These are the uh, A, B, and C, C and D, the uh, passage, and we will uh, choose one of these headings, the list of headings. First, as we said, the first step is we, we read and skim the passage for the heading. Passage. Paragraph A, 
we quickly skim for the heading or the, the thing that we think it's the heading sometimes it's the meaning of the whole thing like here although Sonoran desert of the southern United States and northern Mexico is a desert it does rain there in fact for a desert it's fairly wet also it's hotter one of the hotter deserts the average temperature is and on the other hand the temperature can fall to freezing so here he talked about the Sonoran Desert and he gives us that is could be wet rainy and the temperature may be hot and also it falls so we return to the headings and we see the list of headings we can see here that this is the Sonoran Desert and this is the conditions in the Sonoran Desert so this is this will be the first paragraph heading don't forget to cross it while you finish it cross it then the second paragraph Paragraph B. The magnificent, the magnificent sagaru cactus, sagaru cactus, which can grow up to fifty feet tall, and this, this mighty part is well adapted to the dry Sonoran climate. So this is well adapted to the climate this is most probably the topic sentence so we will see if there is any of the same meaning of the topic sentence Sagaru adaptations. Sagaru adaptations. As we see here, the Sagaru actus, and this is it is adapted to dry climate. So this is the answer. We we saw the heading, the main the main topic sentence first in the passage, the main topic sentence, and we see the same meaning in the topic and we write here the number this is how we did it C the Sagaru provides a shelter for a variety of desert bir birds so this is the main topic sentence the main topic sentence here the Sagaru provides a shelter of a variety of desert birds we search here And we find that it is a home for birds, shelter or home for birds. So this is the, and we don't forget to cross it. And then the last B paragraph in condition, it's a source of food. Also the cigar is also food and fruits and seeds, fruits and seeds provides nourishment to birds, rats, etc. So this is the topic center sentence. The fruit and seeds provide nourishment. You see here the similar meaning. Fruits in the desert. So this is the paragraph and then we finished another question in the eyelids reading is choosing answers from a list there is a list and there is another uh, some answers directions examples example one the passage mentions many facts about write the correct 
letters from A to H in boxes 1 to 4 on your answer sheet. Example 2. Which four of the following facts about the are mentioned in the passage? So we will be very careful about these dots, about what or about these facts. Strategy. Read the instruction carefully. Very important here to read the instructions. Read the question, what they are asking about. Read the instructions carefully because sometimes people doesn't read the question. Here, in the choosing answers from a list, we will read the question carefully. We will read the instructions carefully. And then scan the passage looking for keywords in the direction line. So, why we will read the direction line carefully? Because we will scan the passage looking from keywords in this direction line. Then, read carefully around these words in the passage and scan the answer cho choices quickly and look for keywords in each statement. Finally, match the keywords in the passage with the keywords in the statement. Do not pay attention to pronouns. Look for nouns, verbs, and modifiers. So what we will do, we will see the keywords in the direction line. We will read carefully the instructions and we, we will pick the keywords from the direction line. And then we will scan the passage for the keywords. And then we will scan the answer choices for the keywords and we will match the keywords in the passage with the keywords in the statement. Here is the tip. It's important to read the, instruction, the instructions carefully and pay attention to the keywords in the direction line. After you scan, choose the answers that you remember, then go back and look for the others. Again, the strategy, read the instructions carefully and scan the passage for looking for keywords in the direction line. Read carefully around these words in the passage and scan another uh, the answer choices quickly and look for keywords in, the, in each statement. Then match the keywords in the passage with the keywords in the statement. And do not pay attention to pronouns. Look for nouns, verbs, and modifiers. And it's important to read the instruction carefully and pay attention to the keywords in the direction line. After you scan, choose an answer that you remember and then go back for the others. This is the practice. As we can see here, we will read carefully the instructions here. We will read the instruction carefully, the direction line. Look at the expert from reading passage and the list of the nest types that follows. Which four nest types are described in this passage? So what we can read here is four nest types, the types of nests that are described. They are described in details, not they are mentioned, they are described. So this is how we read carefully the instructions. Which four nest types that are described in the passage? First, we will uh, see the keywords here in the instruction uh, or in the direction line. Nest types and described. Then we will see what nest types described. We will scan for these words. And then after that, we will scan the statements here, the answer choices, and we will match the keywords with the answer choices. So first, four of nest types are described. We carefully read and understand that they need the nest types, the types of the nests which are de detailed described, described in details. So here only as we scan the passage for the keywords, we see that here they started here to give an, a description of the nests. This is the first one, the barrow. And then they give another nest description of the cavity. And then 
they give another nest description how it is made of mud and the main material and then there is also a platform nests if we search here for the nest types we see also many of them are just mentioned here but they are not actually described in detail what type are described the barrow we find here the barrow the cavity nesters the cavity nesters and the mount nest the mount nest plate form nests the plate form nests so first of all read and the direction line take key, key, keywords and then scan the passage for the keywords scan the answers for the keywords and match the answers with the of the, of the keywords of the answers with the keywords in the passage classifying information classifying information as we can see here the directions the question is as follows classify the following facts as applying to a b a topic one for example here uh, mallard b topic two for example as here black dog uh, the write the, the appropriate letter a or b in boxes one to five in your answer sheet so the strategy here you will have to determine the characteristics distinguish one topic from the other you will classify the statements by what makes each different from the other scan the passage quickly and circle the word or phrase in the heading a and underline the word or phrase in heading b skim the, char the characteristics then scan the passage looking for characteristics that match the circled word and those that match the underlined word so we will see first the passage we will read the passage the passage we will scan for the headings the headings which are a and b here uh, mallard and black dog example you will scan the passage make circle on heading a like the mallard here and make a underline beneath the heading 2 this is the first thing then we will write we will mark the character the characteristics we'll scan for the characteristics in the passage also then we will also uh, scan for the characteristics in the um, that is wrote in the answers tip the characteristics or ideas to be classified will be probably in the same paragraph as the word uh, the word in the heading so the strategy you will have to determine what characteristics distinguish one topic from the other this is what is needed and you will classify the statement by uh, which make each different from the other scan the passage quickly and circle the word first we will scan the passage quickly and circle make a circle and underline circle for the heading a and underline for the heading b then we scan for characteristics and then scan the passage looking for the characteristics that match the, the circled word and those that matches the underlined word tip the characteristics or ideas to be classified will will be probably in the same paragraph as the world in the heading as we can see here this is the example the paragraph the paragraph one scan the paragraph circle the words and phrases that describe mallards and underline the words and phrases that describe black ducks 
and then answer the questions as, as uh, that follows. So the question classify the following phrases as describing mallard and black duck. So what we do first is to make a circle around mallard and underline the black dot duck. We scan quickly, make a circle here mallard and we scan, scan, scan until we find here a black duck under, under and then here another black duck black duck and mallard black duck mallard black duck both of them mallard and black duck and then black duck and then mallard circle so first we circled the topic one the mallard and then we under and we end underline the black duck the second thing is we put or uh, or uh, scheme for the characteristics of each one of them the mallard i define green head brown breast black yellow bell of the males in this species from females closely related black duck is a little bit thicker here we can see the black duck occupy similar habit habitat the black duck tend to seek more areas away from, from human activity here the mallard the female mallard bright orange this is the characteristics white black duck has drab greenish yellow olive both have brown plunge but black duck is darker in color in addition female is whitish has whitish tail so now we will read as we put the both of them in circle and underscore and the other one we and we made on the characteristics we will choose has a brightly colored bill as we can see here and also it was mentioned in another, another place here a bill we can say mallard or black is to check out of the color bill the female mallard has bright orange and the black dog dark greenish yellow or red. so bright colored the mallard a dark colored bill is B the black dog the male's head is green green head the mallard so it's A prefers quiet places as you said away from human activity so this is the black dog so this is B feathers are dark brown both are brown but a black duck is darker so it is B black duck so this is how we did the classifying information first you encircle the heading one and under uh, line the heading two then you look for characteristics and then you see those who match their characteristics in the numbers the choices completing notes and summaries complete the summary using words from the box below write your answer in boxes one to four on your answer sheet there are more answers than spaces, so you will not use them all. This is the direction or the question. We will find either a note or a summary, and there is after that you will find some words, and you will have to put uh, some of these words in the uh, spaces. What's the strategy here? Look for what uh, is missing in the notes and summary. 
<clears throat> First, look for the words that are given and then scan the passage to look for these words. The missing words will be near these words. Write only the number of words suggested in the directions and use the correct <laughs> grammatical form. So these are examples. Here there is a, a passage and then followed by summary and the box that has the words. First, we will look to the summary quickly and read quickly, very quickly, so that we have just an idea about what could be missing. He really wanted to show the pre-Columbian South Americans could have, so he made an ocean-going raft he used to build the main part of the raft. He named the raft for you know, have to deal with uh, crossed the ocean on the raft. Quickly, also we will go through the words Norwegian. Hoist a sail, small crew, build a raft, bamboo, and so I will see these words and then I will come to the summary again to read and look for the missing words. Hiradal wanted to show the pre Columbian South Americans could have. So I will search for the words here in the text. This explorer, Hiradal, said that it's possible for ancient Americans. So here are the, the same words, the ancient Americans, to cross the Pacific Ocean and settle in the Polynesian Islands. So this is the answer. As we can see here, it is written in the answer. Traveled to Polynesia. So he wanted to show that pre-Columbian South America could have travel to Polynesia so the answer is F so he made an ocean going raft he used to build the main part of the raft he used what to build the main part of the raft the main part of the raft so we will read quickly he built the raft using the only material and technology that has been available in South America Pre-Columbian times, he constructed the body of the raft out of the balsa logs and pine boards lashed together with a rope made from, and this is added small, uh, made bamboo. And so we can see here that he made the body, which is the main part, with this material, balsa logs and pine boards. We read it somewhere here. balsa and pine wood so the answer is e balsa and he used balsa and pine woods to build the main part of the raft he named the raft he named the raft by he named the raft by what we see here that he gave the, the raft the name of this which comes from old name of ancient sun god. So we find it, we read it here somewhere. And ancient god. So the answer is H. He with crossed the ocean on the left. You see a group of just six men and Hiladel also uh, with the re re leader 
set sail across the Pacific on Kwon Tech. So he went with six men. Which we look, there is no six men, but there is the meaning of that, which is a small crew. So he with a small crew crossed the ocean on the left. This is an example of summary and words. Another example is notes. Notes and also followed by some words. We can see the notes first. La Crosse was originally played by. La Crosse game games took place. Crosse played where it is uh, were no were not allowed to. Players were not allowed to. Quickly, I will go through the words over a large area. French missionaries threw the ball. Native Americans touch the ball next to a leak. We will go again. La Crosse was originally played by. You will see the first U Europeans with, to witness the game of La Crosse were French missionaries. So, originally, the first played by French missionaries, and we read it somewhere here. So the answer is B. La Crosse games took place, and we see here the game was played in various forms of Native American eastern part of Lark Evans as well as the Great Lakes region. The Crusade Games with impor important event were played over a period of several days and took place in area of from 500 yards to several miles in size. So it took place. We see there is no numbers, special number, but we can see there is an over a large area, which is from 500 to several miles took place in 500 and several miles so it took place in a large in a large uh, over a large area which is a la crusade players were not allowed to so we continue the numbers of players throwing and catching the ball with stick that's sort of uh, important too and uh, the player's hand could not touch the ball so this is Players could not allow to touch the ball. We will see it here. It's E. So this is how we make this type of question again. Which is the completing notes and, summar and summaries. Look for the missing of the notes and summary first. Look for the words that we're giving and scan the passage to look for these words. The missing words are near these words. Write only the number of words suggested in the directions and use the correct grammatical form. Sometimes it's only the meaning, not the same words that are said uh, in the uh, uh, text. Completing tables and flowcharts. Completing tables and flowcharts, the directions first. Complete the table using words from the passage and write the answers in boxes 1 to 4 in your answer sheet. What's the strategy is the same as in notes and summaries. You will look for what's missing in the table first or flowcharts and then uh, look to the words that are given. Scan the passage to look for these words. The missing words will be near the, these words. Write only the number of words suggested in the directions and use the correct grammatical form. So first, I will look to the, uh, to, uh, the um, words that are given in the uh, table or flowchart, and then I will scan the passage for these words or near these words, and uh, then I will find the uh, missing words. Also, you should uh, use uh, uh, the correct grammatical form and the number that, uh, of words that are uh, suggested in the directions. So uh, this is an example. Paragraph 1, this is a table, read the paragraph, complete the table using words from the paragraph with no more than three words in each answer. So first of all, as we can see, we will look directly to the table. Now um, lack of exercise, the effect is heart disease. 
the cause and the effect this is the table cause and effect so lack of exercise heart disease plaque deposits increase arteries formation of walking regularly lower the risk of so we will first uh, lack of uh, exercise we will look to the the one that we have lack of exercise we will read the passage and scan it for uh, for uh, something like that talking about exercise that will lead to heart disease so we read the passage now we see that research points to six different factors that lead to heart disease this is the keyword that we search around it one of the most significant of these is physical activity so physical activity like exercise physical exercise so lack of physical exercise will lead to heart disease this is the answer physical lack of physical exercise the effect is heart disease the second sentence is plaque deposits increase this is the cause will lead to effect which is arteries formation of so we will look for the words like plaque deposits increase what so we will see here that it develop when a plaque or fatty deposit builds up in the coronary arteries when carry blood to the heart this build up causes these blood vessels to become blocked so the blood vessels are the arteries to become blocked so it will block the arteries block the blood vessels so this is the first sentence arteries blood vessels we'll search around and we will find that it will be blocked or which is the answer now the formation of blood clots masses of thickened blood that is blood clot formation this also leads to also leads to but then the other effect the second effect first the block arteries and then formation of what the blood clots so this is the answer walking regularly lower the risk of we will scan quickly for walking regularly a routine of walking daily walks so this is walking regularly a routine of walking daily walks and then we will look for a word that matches lower risk of what less likely lower the risk of type 2 diabetes type 2 diabetes so first we will look to the words that we have search around it or its meaning and then we complete the sentence like we did here in this example the second example also there is a paragraph first we will look as we said to the answers and we will quickly read it is in the advantage and disadvantage this is the table advantage and disadvantage what's the advantage it's inexpensive expensive does not create and location requires suitable so we will go first for the first for the fifth one is inexpensive what is the advantage inexpensive and what is is expensive we will go to the again to the paragraph to look for these words or its meaning read quickly geothermal energy refers to the technologies that exact form of earth use energy comes and business objective from alternative energy source that reduces uh, to fossil load or will attractive uh, and source the uh, it's the high cost of construction can be determined and the low cost of operation once the system is built up so there is high cost and there is low cost these are in advance what is the low cost inexpensive it is the high cost expensive so low cost or inexpensive operation high cost is construction as we will see here the high cost and low cost expensive and inexpensive the construction is expensive the operation is inexpensive so 
the other one we will look at does not create not create what does not create you see advantage that it does not create another attraction advantage is the geographical energy geothermal energy systems produce no pollution so it produces no pollution does not cause pollution so this is the answer and the second advantage here it does not create pollution what is another disadvantage that we need to know location requires suitable what location requires suitable something so we will look for location requires something unfortunately the alternative is location with the proper underground condition exists so the location required proper underground conditions so this is the answer location requires suitable underground conditions so we looked here in the, uh, the first we see the passage and we looked inexpensive we, we see low cost low cost which is the operation expensive which is high cost is construction does not create there is no pollution location requires we see location requires suitable underground conditions so this is an, another example of actually we saw the first two which were uh, tables and this is uh, flow charts this is actually a, a flow chart the first was tables both were tables this is our and this is a, a, a flow chart also the same we see first the flow chart and we read quickly the spider attracts thread between two branches to form it releases a second loser thread and hangs down in the form of it attaches more thread in the framework then places threads radiating out from the center and it lays down the lost threads in a so first the spider attaches thread between two branches to form spider threads between two branches you see if there is any two branches here to form what so we read rather than uh, chasing after the dinners uh, the web forms a web that quickly we read almost all spiders spider the spider starts by standing on a branch and releasing one thread long thread into uh, the wind the other end of the thread catches onto another branch so now the they uh, stretched between two branches this is the word we're looking for two branches two branches like a bridge so two branches to form a bridge this is the answer the second it releases a second loser thread that hangs down in the form of so a second loser thread we'll look for these words lose or the meaning of them loser thread that hangs a spider then this is the second step releases another loser thread so this is the loser thread looks around this bridge the loser thread sags so it hangs sags down below to form a v-shape so the answer is v-shape it attaches more threads to form a framework then places thread radiating out from the center so we read to reach this part so all this doesn't count so this is radiating out from the center so we'll see the next it lays down the lost threads in shape it lays down we see the lost threads word and we will search for it over these the spider attaches threads in the form of a spiral over these which is the lost threads the lost ones in a shape 
in a spiral shape. So this is the answer. So first we check for the either the table or the flowchart. We see for the words order meaning in the paragraph, scan for them and see near them which is the answer. The last in the reading module uh, is the multiple choice questions. Directions for each question choose the appropriate appropriate letter A to D and read it and write it in boxes one to two on your answer sheet. So for each question choose the appropriate letter from A to D and then you would write it in your answer sheet. What's the strategy? Scan the reading passage looking for words, dates, or paraphrase in multiple choice options and read the sentence where these keywords are found. Does this sentence answer the question? Remember the keyword may be a synonym, antonym, or paraphrase of the correct answer. So this is how we do it. We scan the reading passage looking for words, dates, or paraphrase. In the multiple uh, choice options, we read this sentence where these keywords are found. Does this sent sentence answer the question? Remember that the keyword may be a synonym uh, uh, or uh, antonym or a paraphrase of the correct answer. Important tip here, read the questions and try to guess the answer first. Scan the passage for the keywords in the answer options and circle the keywords when you find them. Do these match your guess? So very important to know that the answers to the questions are in sequence here. So the answer of the first question is in the first part of the passage. The answer of the second question follows that and the answer to the third question follows the answer in the second question. This is the practice for multiple choice questions. Now first we look to the answers directly. Then we see how the dogs help children to read. How the dogs help children to read and we see, we ask our, we want to answer our, our question. How the dogs help children to read. Then quickly look to the answers A, B, C and D. They make sure that the child read for the required amount of time. We give the child something to love and care. We provide the child with a safe audience. We protect the child from strangers. So which how the how the dogs we will try to figure out how the dogs help. We see this we will scan for these words in the question how the dogs help children to read. Quickly we will go to the uh, passage supporting children who struggled reading and Teachers' difficulty with learning to read such a low self-esteem and motivation and exacerbates the problem in order to help children in this in order to help children in this situation. So now we will start to make to help the children to read. Some schools, especially trained dogs. The process is very simple. The child sits with the dog in a certain period of time and reads aloud to it. The presence of the dog is comforting to the child. Dogs enjoy attention from people so the child feels that she has an interested listener. I won't criticize her. This therapy, the child has the opportunity of reading in a positive environment. So there is comforting and a positive environment. Which one of these fits? Make sure that the child read for the quiet time? No. Love and care? Yes comforting and positive environment so this is the answer love and care we read the others safe audience no protect the child from strangers no so this is the most suitable which is b what kind of dogs make good therapy dogs so we will try to answer what what kind of dogs so you're searching for the kind of dogs that uh, good therapy here they say any dog large or small trained to be reading therapy as they are peaceful personality. So which one is the answer? Gentle, intelligent, interesting, and large. Gentle, 
peaceful personality. This is the kind of dog. And this is how we, how we uh, answer the multiple choice questions. Strategies of the matching, short answer, true or false or not given, yes or no, not given. Labeling a diagram, completing sentences, choosing heading, headings, choosing answers from list, classifying information, completing notes and summaries, completing tables and flowcharts, and multiple choice. Good luck.